Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. This is your captain speaking. Otan's here with me. We are doing our captain's log, episode nine. Is it nine? Episode nine. Do we do nine of these? I thought it was ten, but maybe I'm just. Yeah, I can't. It does. It doesn't feel like nine. I don't know. I wonder. I could do one of these every day. They're so fun. <laughs> yeah, we've only talked about yeah. unmatched for nine hours on. <laughs> um, <laughs> on so, stream. Right, on stream, like <laughs> um, counting in person. All right, so. Today's title, Slings and Arrows, mm. Queen Titania, and Shakespeare, mm -hmm. and Top 10 Dream Sets. With IPs. Not just, because that's a cap, that's a very specific. Dream Sets. Like, like in the future, if you could have 10 sets of any kind. What would you want to see? That was that's not what he told me. Okay. Well, I'm not because sure. Because that changes things. Would you add things in there? Yeah. Okay, well, we can talk. You can think about it. Some would never happen. Sure. But um, it's fine. We'll audible a little bit. Okay, so... Um, slings and arrows. Uh, we just found out oh, that... Oh, did you see Dark Blades video? Yeah, that's what I was yeah. going to say. Okay, yeah, so, yeah. spoiler. If, you, if you're trying not to see anything about... I don't know why you're listening to this. If, you, <laughs> if you're wanting to not hear anything about the sets... What are you doing here right now? Um, Whoops. So, okay, spoilers. Dark Blades video dropped. Uh, Resto talked to them. I talked to him. He was like, hey, do this vid. He's like, I got you. He did the vid. Um, Wrote it, an entire it gives, sonnet. It gives, it was good. It was, a, it was yeah, great, it actually. Was, it was awesome. Yeah. The problem is it doesn't give anything. Like, okay, his ability, na the name, we understand it. It is called... Iambic pentameter. Yes. And then the ability says, like, if he has, you like, when you discard your cards, you're putting him down into a row. Yeah. And then, I guess we're talking about Shakespeare first, but uh, when you put him down into your row, it's if you have 10, what is it, syllables? Yeah. Right? If you have if exactly 10 syllables, 10 syllables, then you get the effect of the last thing. If you're, if you're over 10, then you discard it. So no matter what, you're discarding at the end of it. So you want to hit that 10, mm -hmm. which is cool because it's sort of like when you're playing red, where she's like, okay, she's got knives in her basket. I know that she wants to play these cards. Mm-hmm. The this more we play against Shakespeare, it'll be like, okay, I know well, that these cards yeah. have this value on it, and if he hits that value, he's going to get his effect. You know? Yeah. Um, so that will be interesting to, to play around. Well, it's interesting. Yeah, you're right. It's, it's interesting because there are going to be a l way more combinations than red. Red is three symbols. Right. This is... Well, so, so for example, I don't, no, here's the thing. You've, there's a lot of ways to get you've to played, you played. Saying. It. Yes. I have not played it, so I have no idea. So I can talk about it, as usual. So yeah. <laughs> so here's what's... Like, I'm assuming it's going to be like one to three. Maybe there's a four. Well, you know what? If you, Yeah, because it's probably... They probably want like three cards. But I guess it's like three to four to five. Three to five cards you probably want in that row. That'd be my guess, but maybe, maybe higher numbers. I have no idea. But let's just say that you're three away from ten. Okay? Mm. That attack, the next play you do, could be a three... Or it could be a two, or it could be a one, or maybe there's zeros. You know, so mm -hmm. it's cool. Like when that with that next attack, the, the the less cards in your thing, the more mystery of what you're going to play there is. As you get closer to that ten mark, there's more. The, the opponent can can lock down more easily what you're going to throw that would be the most optimal. Which could also make you want to do the other thing. I don't know how. The other thing is I don't know the effects. And this is what I was going to say. Is like the video gives away. The ability and the name of it, and it's like, okay, cool. He's got actors. But I have no idea, and he has actors. He's got three actors. I have no idea what, how many how many syllables are on a card? How many cards have syllables? What are the effects on the cards? So there's so much to be desired. Mm -hmm. I, I really want to know what is what else is there. Um, I think it's going to be really fun. I'm excited to play. That's, those are the kind of characters I like. Jill Trent, mm -hmm. Little Red. You know, characters that are trying to line up this combo where you have these mind games going and there's counterplay based and, on... And because of that, because yeah. I think... Because I I do best if I know that you know what I want to throw. Right. Because then I can play around with that. Mm -hmm. If you have no idea, it's like playing rock, paper, scissors, paper, scissors against someone who's just doing it randomly. Yeah, but... There's no, the, you can't win. Like I mean, you can win, but yeah. it's like there's no actual decision there. I want... I want 
Oh, yeah, one of one of the best Chess little match. red plays is when you have knives in the basket, attack with ears, the red four, right? It's because sure. people are gonna faint your knives yep. attack, yeah, and then you're gonna just steal two of them at the top. This one. Yeah, stuff like that, exactly. So, like, knowing that the optimal play there is taking advantage of the knives for red to get that powerful right. effect. Right, every time there's knives on, fainting, basically. Is the safest okay. play, but right. you're, you know, as a red player, switch it up every now and then. Yeah. Throw that red four, which is a decent card. But, yeah, you're right. It's going to be, Shakespeare's going to be really fun, I think, um... I don't want to give anything away. Right. Don't even, so okay. So my toaster says, you know, how do we think that, how do we think that the um, uh, syllables are going to work out? And um, I, I just the way I'm saying it, I think I think there's a number of printed on the card somewhere in like a, like like sort of like how Houdini oh. created that new boost thing. There there is. Okay. I'll give that away. So I'm guessing there's a, new, a number on the card somewhere. It's easier to 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 count. Right. Because you're because if you have to like, you're not <laughs> going to be like oh. How whither thou art isest, you know? And you're like, okay, that's oh, it's one, two, three, yeah, four, five syllables. And you're like, that would be, that would not be a fun game. Uh, so, but it's probably like, okay, this one's got five on it, so you just have numbers on the tops or something somewhere on the card. You got a number. Can I give one thing away? I don't think you can. Well, it has to do with the syllables specifically. I don't think you're allowed to. Allowed to, right? Okay. Yeah. Think, think about how how. How like close to the chest Resto is keeping this thing? No, you're right. You're they're, right. They're and like they're giving us like just little nibbles. We've pre-ordered it, so like you'll find out. I can't soon wait till it comes. But um, yeah, it's okay. So yeah, I was disappointed. Two things I was disappointed. One one is just a slight disappointment, but I understand why they did it. One, I want him to be a, a solo fighter. I did not think he needed actors. So that's one one thing. Um, in fact, the actors almost make it feel like like less thematic that he is in the set with his creations. In my mind, it like makes them less real. But you don't have to play with the actors. You don't have to. <laughs> um, just, the other thing. The other thing was about the actors specifically, which is thematically. What was I disappointed by? Thematically with the actors. Um, that's a great question. I think thematically, they should all be. There should be different actors, right? There are different actors, I believe, right? No, no. They probably have different art on them. You're close. You're close. You're close. Uh... They should all be guys. There should oh, be no girls. Oh, you're right. He did not, at that time period, you did not you act did not have women with women. It was wrong. Which is, we can. that's a whole other conversation. Um, Wait, was it... Was it the time of Shakespeare, really? Or I thought it was earlier than that. No, it was Shakespeare. It was like Greek plays. <clears throat> Shakespeare time. You, they were, they were really? all, yeah. Okay. If you watch, wow. so if, when you watch his, when you watch the movies of his plays, the, the, in the movie they have the girls, but in, if there ever, if there's a play on stage, which there's almost always a play on stage in his plays, uh, the play always performed by an, an entirely male cast. Um, mm. And like, so like they would use a boy with like, you know, who hasn't hit puberty yet to be a girl. Sure. And you, you know, the high pitched voice kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, thematically, should have been guys. It's fine. It's fine. I, I, I like that. I mean, it's cool that you get to play as girls. It's just, come on. I will always have them as guys for that reason. Uh, I am not sexist, but I am, I am, I am an accurate to the times. Okay. That's fair. That's okay, fair. So, um, respect. Uh, I respect your sexism. <laughs> So, um, t-shirt quote, uh, O-Town, 20, 2024, <laughs> I respect your sexism. Um, Guys, please don't cancel me. <laughs> YouTube, it was a joke. Uh, so, okay, so, uh, yeah, disappointed. I, th I thought he should be a solo fighter. And that makes me, so this is another part of it. So, the three sisters have to be three heroes, okay? Mm -hmm. Hamlet has to be a solo fighter. I was thinking about it, though, that if he's not a solo fighter, he would have a sidekick with like a, an HP sidekick of like a six health, seven health sidekick. And then I'm like, who's it going to be? It would have to be either Ophelia, which is his girl, his love interest. Sure. Or it has to be Horatio, who's not really his sidekick, which would be a weird choice. So I think it would have to be uh, Ophelia and it could be like, it could honestly. Here's what it could be like: 
It could be like if Ophelia dies, or when Ophelia dies, Hamlet gains like an action after he attacks. Something like like a, a Patroclus kind of thing. Yeah. But I think that's a little too sim- you're I mean thematically it makes sense, I suppose, but that's too similar to Achilles. It is. Um you're you're gonna be happy with Hamlet, I okay, think. Cool. Yeah, he's he's fun. Um so then that's uh, we're gonna that's gonna pigeon us lead us into the other two. Yeah, actually, we're going to continue on, on Shakespeare conversation, okay? Because yeah. I'm, I'm ta- we're talking about Queen Titania and Shakespeare. I'll start with Shakespeare today. I watched two movies to prep. Actually, watched I watched a Hamlet, the other version. Mm-hmm. So I'll, I'll, let's, let's continue with Hamlet real quick for you guys. So Did you watch a biopic on Shakespeare? Or did you... No, 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 no. Heck no. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for biopics, okay? Um... <laughs> I do. I watch biopics. I, 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 I am going to, Will, I, and I will, but yeah. I have not yet. Yeah, okay. My, the, the closest to a biopic will be watching uh, Angel Cakes videos. Um, ah, right. Yeah. <laughs> true, true, true. A uh, five minute, just little, <laughs> like, historical breakdown. So. Can't wait for his new one. I can't wait for his Shakespeare one. He just he just released a new one on, um, I haven't watched it yet, on uh, Golden Bat. It'll be interesting. Ooh, I'm first, very interested. Yeah, first superhero. You guys go check that out. Yeah. Historically Unmatched. Subscribe. Tell them I sent you. Um, so, I watched Hamlet, Mel Gibson version of Hamlet. So, it, it's not directed by him, but he's starring in it. Mm. He does a good job. It's weird. It was cool watching it right after watching the old one. The old one is the best. Like, hands down, it's the best by far. Mm. And it won Academy Awards. Didn't How know, old I didn't is know it? that. In 1948. It existed? Yeah. Oh, I guess you know what? Freaking uh, Citizen Kane. So, really good. Comparing it, like, directly to it, some of the plot is easier to follow in the newer one, <clears throat> the Mel Gibson one. Sure. But there's so many things that are, like, worse. Like, the climax is worse. The There's so many moments that are worse. And it's like, why did you... Why, it's like, why did you decide to change... Every, every re- reboot does it. Like, they're like, oh, we gotta change that one thing about the story. We're, we're off. We're not live. My camera just went off. My camera's still on. Weird. That's very strange. That is weird. Are we still live or? Weird. Is my still is still on. Okay. I'm not sure we can hear us. That's very strange. Yeah, they can hear us. Um, <clears throat> that's a bummer because that's <laughs> that's the camera that is plugged into the Ethernet thing. So that's annoying. That's never weird. happened before. So that's obviously not is better. Is it still on? It's on now. I got oh, it's on now. Okay. Um, hmm. uh, so okay, so the Hamlet was good. Uh, I watched two other movies. Um, so I watched uh, Midsummer Night's Dream mm-hmm. for Queen Titania. Uh, the it's version, a fun one. the version, it's very fun. The version with. Um, uh, Kevin Klein as Ooh. Bottom, uh, and then I watched Shakespeare in Love to get a better understanding of Shakespeare. Ooh. And you do, hmm. okay? You do. First off, it's a great movie. Warning: there is nudity, uh, sexual content, nudity. Uh, so, but like once you there's like a there's like a middle. It's like pretty scarce. Uh, it's in the middle. It's in the beginning. Uh, there's like a montage in the middle. That montage is pretty heavy-handed. So, if you don't want to watch it, just just listen to the montage, but don't don't, don't watch the montage. Don't, right? listen. After that montage, nudity free for like an hour and a half. So, um, but uh, Shakespeare in Love is very good. I'm gonna give a, a spoiler on the movie. If you don't want to hear that, don't watch it. Shakespeare in Love is really cool because it's about Shakespeare writing it's just obviously fiction but it's like takes parts of his actual fact in, in life sure and and like it combines it together with his like there's so many quotes and references to the plays he's written and the and just like the story and everything it's really really well done if the more plays that you know of shakespeare the more you'll appreciate this movie mm-hmm. um but it's basically the story of how he wrote romeo and juliet and the movie starts off with him trying to write a movie a comedy for uh, for the Rose. So so back then you have two theaters. You have the Rose and you have the Curtain. 
So the curtain was the competing. Uh, I thought the Globe. No, oh, Shakespeare was the Globe Theater. I'm pretty sure. Okay, uh, so you have the rose and the curtain. Weird. Uh, I got. I don't know. You guys, fact check me. So uh, I'm listening. Okay, so <laughs> the rose versus the curtain. Uh, at least in the movie, that's what this is, and I, I, in my mind, that's what it was. Um, and so he's 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 writing this play for uh, for the for some other people. Okay, he's writing different plays for different people, and. It's a comedy. It's called Romeo and Ethel, the Pirate's Daughter. <laughs> so, this is a terrible title. It is the Globe Theater. Thank you. Maybe okay. they just changed it because it, it still exists, I'm pretty sure. So maybe they just didn't get the right to use it. Not sure. It, I'm not sure, yeah. Which is weird. Interesting. Making a movie about... Okay, so know. it is the Globe. Okay, so... Um, and so th throughout this movie, basically, he is... The, the story's coming around that it's actually changing into Romeo and Juliet. And you're seeing how that works out, and it's so good. That's cool. Um, he sword fights, so that's neat. He, he's good at melee combat. So in reality, in the movie, he sword oh. fights. Okay. The stage props. It's neat. It's just it's like it's like okay, you can fight. <laughs> stage combat. Stage combat. <laughs> uh, great movie. Watch it. Star studded cast. Really good. Um, and the just like the writing, like the way that like he writes in like. The way that Shakespeare in real life wrote is incredible. Mm -hmm. uh, the stories that he wrote, incredible. We don't have stories. Like, people are like, oh, we've, we've moved past Shakespeare. Uh, first off, we're only where we are because of Shakespeare. And, mm -hmm. man, would we do we'd, we would do well to go back to Shakespeare. The complexity. And the, the complexity. The, the, the character development. Yeah. It's online. like, yeah. it's like, um, oh, the guy I can't think of his name right now. I can't think of his name. Um, he does. Uh, he did a uh, snatch, lock, stock, and two smoking barrels. Oh, oh, guy, uh, guy Ritchie. Yeah. So it's like Guy Ritchie kind of plots where everything's like gonna everything's everything combined right and it comes together. Yeah. Um, I love or that. like a Christopher Nolan timeline, or uh, you know, like uh, like Spielberg's blocking and like shot. It's like that level in nine in in forever ago with the sixteen hundreds, whatever. Um, so Shakespeare. It, it helps you appreciate the character. Queen Titania. I guess all that to say, Shakespeare makes sense to the character. I understand it. Queen Titania. I don't know. This is like the. This is like the. Um, this is like the witches because I don't know where they're gonna go with this. Now with Queen Titania, there's a lot of lore. There's like extra lore with her. I think he, I'm pretty sure. If I'm not mistaken, he created Queen Titania, but from his creation has like sprouted all this other stuff. Like she's she's a, a common theme and character, like archetype kind of stuff for like RPGs and for um uh like uh what's the what's the I can't think of it when you play in this a game like Wes would play it. Um I can't why can't I think of the name? It's not, it's not a board game. It's you're role playing RPG. Yeah, but no, what's a what's a what's a an example board RPG? Like the 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 one like Skyrim. No, what's it called? D D and D. D and D. Thank you. Oh my gosh, my brain melted there. What? Yeah, D and D. Dungeons and Dragons. Okay, thank you. So um, it's like it's like that. It's like she's like she's used in D and D all the time. Huh. Titania. Titania. So, Midsummer Night's Dream. Spoilers coming. Hilarious. Very good. Yeah, really good. Hilarious. Uh, and uh, very creative. There's there's love triangles. There's there's this person loves this person, but they can't make Okay, fine. Okay, here we go. Emperor dude, having a birthday. Yeah. Okay, or whatever I'm called him the Emperor. Yeah, I don't know what he is. Uh, guy comes in on his birthday and says, Hey listen. I need you to make my daughter marry this guy. And but my daughter loves this guy instead. And and basically there's like this girl has to marry this guy, otherwise she's gonna die. Emperor says no, but she'll have to go to a nunnery. So then and the other guy, this other guy loves the daughter, actually loves her. The, other, the guy that's supposed to marry her just wants to do it because the dad loves him, and he doesn't he doesn't love her. The girl that there's a girl that loves this guy though. There's a, now, now you're it's gone. A, now you're gone. Yeah, what the... What keeps happening? 
It's alright, it'll come back. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is they weird. can still hear. The good news is it wasn't this camera, which means it's just not good. <laughs> it's just the iPad. <laughs> it's just yeah. So, um, so all this crazy stuff happens. It's this, it's this love web. A love, a love web. Right. Thank you. It's a love web, and they, they the so they run off into the the forest. Yeah, you're back. They run off into the forest. Okay. Meanwhile, there's a play. There's a, a play being created by these like noob, uh, like inexperienced actors, and they're trying to make this play, and they're gonna make a serious tragedy, and they're gonna perform it at this guy's birthday celebration wedding thing. It's a wedding, I think, not not birthday. Yeah. So they're doing that. Mean, meanwhile, also meanwhile, fairies in Fairyland yeah. are doing mischievous things. Yeah. <laughs> so. Queen Titania is the wife of King Oberon. Yeah. They're, they're the king queen of the fairies. And they have, um, there's a, a fairy underneath them named Puck. Ro uh, bottom. Uh, not bottom, but um, whatever. Is it not Puck? Puck's the main character. But it might be Puck, but but he goes by something else. He's like, ah, oh, man, I can't, it's, it's in there. Um, but we'll call him Puck, sure. Well, I, th I think it is Puck, but he goes by something else. He's like this very mischievous dude. Super mischievous. Yeah. So, uh, really weird plot point. Uh, Queen Titania comes in, and I was wondering about this. Like, this could be a sidekick, but I don't think. I hope it's not. Um, she comes in and she's like, "Hey, I've adopted this this blue Indian boy." <laughs> <laughs> and 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 the king's like, "No, like we're not doing that." And she's like, "I did it." <laughs> like, no, I'm gone. What keeps happening, dude? I don't know. So they don't need to see me. They just need to hear me. Uh, my beautiful voice. So she adopts this this boy, and he's like, no, not having that. And so then, uh, because of this little fight that they're having, Oberon has Puck. We'll call him Puck. I think that's what it is. Uh, Oberon has Puck. Take go and get a cupid, cupid shot and arrow, and then they hit a field, and the, so the field has the love juice from this arrow that he shot. So he goes and gets a flower from this to to drip it into her, so that the first person she wakes up and sees, she will fall in love with, and she's gonna have him fall in love with someone that's like that sucks, so that she comes crawling back to Oberon and yeah. loves him, and also because the uh, the other the humans. He, they passed by and they were fighting and he's like, oh, I want them to love each other. So he wanted, he wanted the girl that's not loved by the guy that has to marry the girl, the other girl. Mm -hmm. He wanted these two to fall in love. And if he had, if it had gone the way he wanted it, it would have been like happy ending, happy ending, we're good. Yeah. So he's like, you need to go do that. There's a guy dressed up in like Athenian garb and drop it in his ear and he'll wake up and he'll love this girl that he's, that he's refusing. So he's like, okay, cool. He goes, gets the stuff, drips it into Queen's ear, drips it in onto the guy. Wrong guy, he hit the other guy. He hit this guy, okay? Um, and this girl, they're, they're like sleeping in the forest. They're just sleeping in the middle of the forest, okay? Yeah. And this girl, girl, we'll call her girl A. Girl A and girl B, we got we got girl, we got guy. Oh my gosh. This is, this is gonna get too this crazy. This is not a good, the, this this is, is hard if you're explain. following it, I'm impressive. Okay, so <laughs> so why are you giving a girl, synopsis of girl the whole comes play? in? Girl comes in from the girl comes in from the forest. Okay, and, and she wakes him up because she's like she thinks he's dead, and he <laughs> looks at her. And he's like, oh, I love you. She's like, what are you talking about? You don't love me. You love this girl. Chaos ensues, and then this guy has his workout. Okay, any whoozle. <laughs> all right, all of that happens. All that happens. Uh, then the play, the actors come into the forest, and for some reason, I think Puck turns, yeah, Puck turns <clears throat> one of the actors, Bottom is his name, into a donkey. So his face is a donkey. Right. And, and then, and then he, he somehow coordinates it to where Queen Titania wakes up and, falls and sees the, Bottom. Falls in love with the donkey. So she falls in love with the donkey. Man. Yeah. And there's like this romance and she genuinely loves him and he's like, what the heck's happening? <laughs> and she makes all of her her fairies like, you know, serve him and all that stuff. She has four fairies, by the way, that have names. My guess is she's going to have four sidekicks. Mm. 
uh, that are one HP, that would make sense that she can just control fairies um, and then bring them back. I'm sure she has ways to bring them back because she could have control of all the fairies. She should have multi sidekicks and and do a lot of stuff. <clears throat> so she falls in love with him, uh, and then basically at some point the spell wears off and and she looks down and she's like, "What? I don't I don't love this. Like, who's this donkey guy?" And Oberon's like, "Look what you did. You love this this guy." Uh, you know, come back to me. And she's like, okay. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. But, so, great movie. Watch it. There's more. There's so much more. Uh, Queen Titania doesn't do anything in the movie. She does nothing of note that would be like, oh, that should be a character. Mm -hmm. She gets tricked. Yeah. She falls in love with the donkey. I feel like it would she be... She tries to adopt an Indian boy. Like, what, what cards are those? T Titania is one that I... I, She's an interesting character, but I do feel like maybe they picked the wrong person to represent that play of Shakespeare's. I, mean, I don't know. I don't know what the thought process was behind that. Have you seen her deck or no? Yes. You have seen her deck, okay. Uh, I haven't... She's the one that I've spent the least time on because... She, right, Puck would make more sense. Puck makes more sense. Keen Oberon would make more sense. Yeah. I think this is one of those moments where they're trying to get a girl in. But but again, she's Queen Titania, and there's so much lore about her now. Yeah. She's from, like a seductress, sure. a temptress. Like, she can, she can like, uh, she she's very powerful, apparently, and she, like, but it, and then the play where she is created from, like, if that's what from we're using. Shakespeare. Right, if that's what we're using as, like, the context she's for She's kind it, of just. She's just kind of, yeah. She's not, she doesn't yeah. do any, she's, she does less than the witches. Yeah. So, Yeah. I'm interested. I'm very interested in what they're going to do with her. I, You know, I'm excited, actually, because Unmatched is kind of like a much more structured kind oh, of D&D. Oh, oh. &D. Okay, so he, this is interesting. Uh, Mitosis says that Titania predates Shakespeare. Really? Shakespeare created the name. Okay, so I, okay, so I was right about that. But the character of the fairy queen comes from old Celtic myth. Okay, so ah. that's that's what it is. So the old fairy queen Celtic myth, I I bet you that's what they're deriving the character from. You're probably right. And then they just are using Shakespeare this as a means to as get a, it into the game, basically. Yeah. Okay, that makes right. That makes a lot more sense. Um, but I I do feel like they're kind of taking this opportunity to just kind of further expand upon the stories that Shakespeare has created. Almost more almost like mm, Shakespeare like a fan fiction. Or yeah. Fan like, fiction, okay. Sort of like with Little Red. Like Little Red in Unmatched is Little Red from an alternate universe where she killed the wolf. Mm. And Spoilers then, like, guys, sorry. Where's if you don't have Little Red <laughs> versus Beowulf, what are you doing? Yeah, that's been on sale for Go buy they it. were giving that away for free for, it's an amazing for set. years. <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah, so it's interesting. I wonder if they're doing something similar with that, where they're taking liberty a little bit because it's public domain at this point. Uh, they're taking liberty a little bit with the stuff that they created. Right. And it's interesting to note, too, a lot of people did that. Like, even Tolkien, I think, did that, where he created this universe. And he was, I, from what I understand, he was fine with people adding on to it. Mm -hmm. He was not like mm. guarding and like protective of it, you know. He, other than like the laws of the universe that he created, um, but like he was fine with people adding to the lore of Sauron or of right. So like, okay, so if you're upset about Rings of Power, calm down. Tolkien, don't, uh, no, whoa, 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 don't. Uh, I'm not finished it. What are you doing? It's been out for like two years. And we watched it, like the first four, and then we stopped for two years. Gotta get back. Okay, guys. Is it worth finishing? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> guys, he got met. My dad's a pastor, and he do got not do, if you say what your dad said. If you if you say that sentence, you will ruin that movie for. I am not going to say millions of people that watch this video. I'm not going to say specifically what he said. He ruined. He ruined Endgame. And and Empire and, Strikes Back. <laughs> <laughs> he ruined okay. multiple movies. There's a spo okay. There's every a every like every other month he's okay. ruining a movie. The Empire Strikes Back <laughs> plot twist that 
The movie don't came out in 1985. And somebody born tomorrow should be able to not have that spoiled for them. Okay. Well, and because of that, right. I'm not saying what it is. Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> but for those of for the 99% of people who have seen Empire Strikes Back and know that blank blank is blank blank. blank. <laughs> That my dad used that in the sermon at one point, like not as a. He could have said what you just point. said, and everybody wouldn't know, you know. R- right. You could have said blank, blank is blank, blank's blank. That's what I said. I know. That's what I'm saying. Your dad could have said that, like actually with the blanks, and it would have been just as clear because everybody knows to that. To be fair, phraseology. you're a little bit of a fundamentalist when it comes to movies. I, am. I went and watched Dune Two today. Okay. Okay. And so good. I watched the trailers by the way, like this, guys. Yep. And I have to do I have to do that with my ears, otherwise I will hear everything. If I just if you just plug your ears, you just hear everything. So I'm like literally like this, like making the with yeah. this, you know? Sure. And so it's like well, but <laughs> we've used up half our time not talking about unmatched. We have we have <laughs> we have covered slings and arrows. We have covered Queen Titania. You're right. I'm excited. I, that, that makes that I love that though. My thank you, mitosis. That makes a lot more sense that I never want to hear Captain say love juice ever again. <laughs> when did I say love juice? Oh, the, I pour the love there. juice into the pour the love juice into the ear. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a great comment. And it is Puck. Okay. Uh but well, what's the what's the what's Puck's other pseudonym? Because it's like um it's a two it's a two parter. It's like I wanna say like Jonathan Wrongbottom, but it's like not that. It's like No, he's it's, there's some other name there. Um Alright, you look it up, guys. Let me, let me know. Post in the chat. Um Okay. Hey, we got a lot of time left. We did. And I'm excited. So the Queen of Tania, that's all I can say is I think she's going to have four sidekicks. I don't, I have no idea what her ability is going to be. It should be something like, um, like the sisters kind of a thing where you can move someone to you. That actually makes a lot of sense. No one can do that yet. There you go. So seductress, like attempting seductress. Did I, did I just, did I just nail it? Don't do not nod. Don't give me any answers. Well, you may have just spoiled something else How? that hasn't been released yet. Really? I, I, I picked something else? No, you said the sisters yeah. can do this. Never mind, guys. Just No, yeah, the sisters from, from Dracula. Oh, 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 oh. The sisters you from Dracula. You just spoiled something. <laughs> this... We okay. were talking about Shakespeare. Okay, okay. Well, yeah, but I'm talking. Okay, so never mind. Uh, yeah. Ravening seduction, but ravening seduction no, you're is right. literally what I'm talking about. Okay, the ravening seduction technically says you can move any one fighter up to two spaces, not just them to the sisters or the sisters. Right. Um, okay, but any any who's oh, that's interesting too. Mm. Um, but you would never use it for Move moving a Dracula or a sister because you're right. Because you would want the card draw anyways. Actually, I think it says do one damage to... I think it says do damage to that fighter equal to however many sisters. Yeah, so if you want to nuke You drag, could move the sister. <laughs> I guess you could... If you only had one sister left, you could move a sister to a person and then deal damage to... No, it says do damage to that fighter, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, never mind, guys. It's moving opposing fighters. I guess you could... I don't know why. Yeah, there's, there's no way you would ever use... It. There's no way you would use it in... The, I hope it doesn't say what you said because... I don't think it does. We real, have Drax. Real quick. Right it, sh- it should say move the opposing fighter. Um, I, move any fighter up to two spaces. After moving, deal one damage to the moved fighter for each sister. Yeah, why would you ever you move? You move the sister. <laughs> oh, ooh. Dracula, Achilles on the same team. You ravening Pat. Oh, you nuke okay, him. right. If you're a team battle. Wow. So you can nuke Pat twice. Two ravenings. Boom, boom. Pat's dead. Big Achilles turn one. And then he's free to just go in and mess him up, and Drac can just sit there, build his hand up. There we go. All right. New combo New for combo. those of you who love play two v two. Which one are we going to get a two v two tournament in unmatched? Guys, we should have a two v two. We we have. And what? We've done it. Yeah. <laughs> Where have you been? Um, I, I don't know. It's not like as big. It's not as big of a tournament. Um, Maybe autumn of. My my teammate is an uh, animal. Oh, that's awesome. We. Haven't lost yet. I'm not surprised. <laughs> we crush it. We just go to town. Um, all right, any who's old. Okay. IPs. Top or 10 dream, dream sets. sets. Ready? Yeah, I need that. I... 
starting at number 10. So these are sets that we want to see. It could be UMA, Unmatched Adventures. It could just be like a four regular set, like these guys are going to fight each other. It could be a set of three. It could be a set of two. It could be a solo fighter. Okay. Top 10 dream sets. Would you go first for me? Um. Well, now I have to get rid of one. Aha! Thank you, Mitosis. Puck is also called Robin Goodfellow. Ah, uh, okay. There we go. Gotcha. I'm not crazy. You're not. Well. <laughs> well. All right. I guess I could combine one into. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll combine it. I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited to do a little. Uh... All right, this will be fun. Ready? I got number ten. Okay. Number 10 is a combination of three IPs. So it's a three fighter set. There might be one more, but these are the only three that I could think of that fits into this, but it's gonna be called like uh, like Treasure Hunters or something along that line. Okay. So Blackbeard. No, Black, no. Okay. Uh, so Treasure Hunters, Nathan Drake from Uncharted. Okay, interesting. Indiana Jones. Okay, and the wait. The third one has to be Nicolas Cage from National <laughs> Treasure. I'm going to steal the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> 10 damage. <laughs> <coughs> that would be awesome. Okay, who's your third one? Uh, Laura Croft, Tomb Raider. Dude, that's a great set. That's really interesting. You're welcome. Great job. Great job. And that's number 10. That's number 10. Wow. Okay, we got some bangers coming out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my number 10, Dune. Yeah, okay, because just what? I thought about it. And it's number 10 because, whatever, Dune. But also, like, hey, there's a lot they could do there's with There's so Dune. much cool. Dude, Dune is awesome. The Watch the second movie today. Such a cool universe. Definitely worth watching. Go watch it. Definitely darker than the first one. But better than the first one. Um, I had two complaints about the first one. The way that they did some sand walking and then not sand walking at different points. I was like, why are you... But you just showed us how to sandwalk, and then you sprinted up that. Then, then you never sandwalked again, and the and the worms never got you. Right? It depends on if you're in worm territory. Right, but th we don't know that until this movie. Mm -hmm. This movie explains that. It was not explained the first one. Rewatch the first one. Uh, uh, trust me, I did. I believe multiple times. Um, uh, <clears throat> the second thing was every single emotional moment of the first movie. Like if they want you to feel something, it's like, like. Cut to that person. Like, here's the reveal. It always accompanied with, ah! <laughs> All right? <laughs> Every single time. They want you to feel, ah! I love the music, though. I, I love the- It's good? It's so, it's just epic. They do- it's ah! like... Okay, it's still- <laughs> Levi's gonna wake up. Yeah. But... <laughs> um, All right, but Dune 2, Dune 2 does not do that, and I was so proud of them. They fixed a lot of the issues. They explained that. They explained some other things. Really well done. Uh, Dune would be my thing. So now it's, here's what I did though. All right. The first set would be, it's a two set. Two sets. Four set one. So for, it's my 10 set, but it's a two part set. Okay. So it'd be Paul. Yeah. Lady Jessica. Okay. So Paul's sidekick would be Chan, uh, the girl. Uh, What's her face? Ch Chani or Chani, Chan whatever. I'm not Chani? sure what it, it says Chani Chan here. Chan uh, that one girl. Uh, and then it'd be, uh, so it'd be Paul. <laughs> and it would not be UMA. It wouldn't work as a UMA. You're right. Because what are you doing? You like the some of the best characters are the bad guys, and are you gonna fight with them against a worm? It doesn't no, you're thematically right. thematically make makes no sense. So it should be a Now you could actually have Atreides versus Harkonnen would be this set. That would be a cool set, right. Yeah. Um or it could be actually the the Harkonnen UMA versus the worm would be actually that would actually make sense. That'd be cool. But um mm. So you have uh, Paul and Ch Chaney, you have Lady Jessica, and then the Duke is her sidekick, versus, uh, so you have, sorry. Then you, the next one is Duncan Idaho, and you have Baron Vladimir. All right, yeah. so that's the first one. That's the first four set. From the first movie. From the first movie. Uh, the second one is still like first, first movie, but also the second included. You have Stilgar versus Gurney versus Glossy, which is like the um, Drax from Guardians of the Galaxy. That's his name? No. What's his name? I thought it was Ramada or something like that. It's like, it starts with an R. Ram, uh, Ram. 
Maybe it's Glossier or something else, but yeah, it says Glossier in the IMDb. Weird. Uh, and then uh, Fade Rotha. Fade Rotha is the is the other one. The other, the other guy. So the that'd be a cool set too. That's just like a violent set. But so really Dune, my number ten. What's your number nine? All right, number nine. Um, all right, number nine. Super Smash Bros. slash Nintendo set. So, oh, geez, I don't know if I, I don't think I can mentally get there. All right, so we've got Link from Zelda fighting. Be awesome, Houdini. <laughs> I, I don't know. Okay. Fighting Bruce Lee. If you haven't played Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom, get after it. They're amazing. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. Okay. Pokemon Trainer slash Ash. So you've got, you could do like a three thing where you've got oh, your Charizard. Oh, cool. Charizard and Bulbasaur and Squirtle. So you're going to have like Charizard thing. and Bulbasaur and Squirtle. It would be you're like, not going to have Blastoise and Vinosaur. Venusaur. Venusaur? Yeah. You could do that too. But like those are the main three from like that. Maybe, maybe Charmander is what I'm saying. You said Charizard. Well, you at, saying? for the main part of Pokemon, um, and, and also in Smash, it's not Blastoise, Venusaur, and Charizard. It's Charizard, uh, I think, uh, So you just never, never evolved? It's Char Charizard, Ivysaur, and the and Squirtle. He has three Blastoise is so good! You're right. No, no, no. Like, <laughs> but in the show, I think there's a period okay. where okay. they don't evolve. They kind of stay this no way. No Pikachu? Uh... You could, I mean, Pikachu is also... He was his own character. Yeah, the, I thought about doing a Pokemon set specifically, but I do feel like there's not... You could go forever. You could go a lot. You could go there's forever. so many different things. Uh, but I do feel like you want to give a nod okay. to Pokemon. Right, right, right. Um, and then Mario, Mario and Luigi as a duo. Uh, cool. That so, makes so much sense. And it's too much sense. Actually. There's not a lot of, like, kitty stuff, and you've loved playing with Riker, right? And so I feel like Nintendo... Uh, you're right. A set, a set geared yeah. for the kids it's would be so creative. very inviting. Where it's like a character that they play. Oh, like I play. I want to be Mario. The question is, and yeah. let me know in the chat, guys, because I can't. I would not be emotionally okay if a cartoon character came into the set as a cartoon character. It would just. It would ruin my idea of Unmatched. Okay. Well, Jill Trent is a comic. But she came down as a real person. You know what I'm saying? She is a real person. She's not... Oh, I see what you're saying. She's not a cartoon character. Yeah, that's interesting. I mean, like, yeah, live they action. Could have done, they could have done Genie from the cartoon, Aladdin, and it would not have worked. Doing this Genie this worked more like a entirely. Yeah, so this is like a really... So, the, I just... I think it's cool, too, because Unmatched, is, the artwork is so cool. And there's a lot you can do with the concept art from... Zelda, what, especially. what about the scale? Like, would, how big would they be on? Would they be like this song? Little guys, <laughs> really big guys. I don't know. It's just an idea. No, it's a cool idea. I'm, I, and I, I think it's a great idea. The main one I want is Link because I think Link as a character is just like he's he's this kind of like warrior who never says anything. He just fights for Zelda and <laughs> does this. He's and he's awesome. I always blow my, blows my mind. Yes, and he has a, such a cool kit, too. He has, okay. like, all these different cool. weapons. And I bet tools. you'll have some support in the chat. Yeah. Um, I'll read it in just a second. So, my number nine. Okay. Jason Bourne. Sorry. Jason versus Bourne. Be a little fun little... little Jason, thing, like... Jason, hockey mask, stabby, stabby, versus Jason Bourne. It's like the... It's like Beowulf versus Red. You know, like, Red versus Beow Beowulf. Yeah. It's that kind of play on words. Jason versus Boy. Be a cool set. It'd be interesting. I don't know if like there's there's a lot that we could talk about like having we we've also talked about like a Jack the Ripper character which would be awesome but like I don't know if they'll do that because he was like a real person and murdered a lot of people. You know. Um, Wait, who did? Jack the Ripper. Wait, right, right, right. But like, and I guess Jason's not real. No. I guess they did Bloody Mary, but like Bloody Dracula. Mary's also Dracula kills everybody. That's his thing. Well, he's also a book. He's also a complex character who is not a mindless monster. Jason is. They the, okay. Like there's Fun nothing House. stopping them from doing like Friday the Thirteenth kind of characters. Like Freddy Krueger. I guess you're yeah, right. There's nothing stopping them. I guess you're right, but I don't know. Uh, if, if, it's, if it's a true story, I, I agree with you. They might not do that, but yeah, I think I think they could go that down that road. All right, who do you, who do you got? <clears throat> All right. By the way, he says uh, my toaster says put in Samus. Years. Samus is also yeah. That's that's one I forgot. I know you could probably swap out probably Sonic 
with Samus because Sonic would be really cool, but uh, Samus would be. You're right. Forgot about her. All right, and I never play Samus, so that's that's probably why I forgot. Your turn. He only plays Samus, and he only drops bombs. He only down bees. Like he just goes, no. No, 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 no. Yes, I, play, when I play Samus, I charge up my gun. You run it? I run to the side, I charge up my gun, and I shoot it. I charge up my gun, and I shoot it. And I, charge, and I do that on an endless loop. And he still loses. Of course. I'm not good at the game. <laughs> he gets a lot <laughs> of kills. He gets a lot of kills. I get a lot of kills. Uh, as Yoshi, I just I go down B. Down B. <laughs> that's my down B. <laughs> Jump up as high as you can, get over their heads, and then you drop on them. All right. So it's ironic. This is my number eight as well. Mine is an Assassins and Spies set. Okay. So Jason Bourne is in it. Crazy that we're both number eight. I know who else is in it. J Dub, John Wick. Oh, okay. I was like J Dub. Uh, James Bond. Of course. That's and Agent Forty Seven from Hitman. Oh, okay. I expected. Um, that's cool. Jack Reacher. No, I expected Mission Impossible. Oh, oh, Ethan Hunt. Oh, that's that's what I should have done. I thought about it too. I, I thought I I forgot. I have I created a set in my mind before. No, I, I, I like that set. It's good. I would I wouldn't even change it. I wouldn't I wouldn't put in. You wouldn't do Ethan, Ethan Hunt? Hunt over over Hitman. No, Hitman works because he's a real person. I mean, yeah, I'd be fine if they swapped it either way. I think you get more play. Actually, no, you, you don't get as much. You get a lot more diversity with the set if you do Ethan Hunt because he can do like. There's so many things he can do. more than just shooting. And Agent, yeah, that's the thing. Is Agent Forty Seven? He just disguises himself and then kills people. Which John Wick can do that if he wants. Well, sure. he doesn't actually. He doesn't. Do that. He never. He just goes. Born. Born can do that. Born is more. Is going to be more like fatigue. Right? My Born sets. I like. I like my Born set. Yeah. It's too strong. Very way too strong. But it's really good. But yeah, I think I think that would be an awesome set to do. Okay. Uh, my number eight: The Matrix versus Mad Max. Ooh. So okay, that's a good. It's one. It's just it's just Neo, but for title it would be. Matrix versus Mad Max, but it's Neo versus uh, Max. Mm. So um, that'd be really cool, really fun. It'd be very different fighters. Mad Max would have some kind of car situation, theming uh, mechanic, mm -hmm. uh, and then Neo would be able to dodge bullets and like you know range from range fighters. Range fighters would have a terrible time against him. Uh, he could, he could do so. Much. I mean, he literally could do so much. So um, mm -hmm. and that's that's my number eight. Number seven for me, X Men. Great. So say no more. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm thinking Pro X, uh, Magneto, uh. Wolverine, and Mystique. Right. Like, there's a lot you could do with those four people. They could. They're all. I mean, that's the thing with X Men too. Is there's no Charles. There's a lot to choose. Pro X is Charles. Okay, thank you. Uh, Professor X. Oh, uh, okay. Um, I had, I didn't hear when you said that. But was, that's how. Yeah, that's I'm, how I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not in that. Yeah, I'm not in that world. Uh, but. There's there there's so many different special abilities you could get with those three. Mm -hmm. You know, Pro X be like a one move, uh, one move one. Right, he's in a wheelchair, but he can like move other people. You know? Of course, he can move. He can or do so freeze, much. Yeah. He's basically Merlin, but on on steroids. Exactly, that'd be it's awesome. Be entire, that'd be really cool. Like hero, basically. Really cool. Yeah. yeah. And Mystique can transform into anybody. Right. So oh, that's could, cool. Like, kind of steal cards. Steal cards out of people's hands and play them. Of course. Yeah. If once your opponent plays a card, you can. Yeah, like or something like that. I don't know. So that'd be really cool. Um, yeah. The only the only disappointing thing is that that is Marvel. Yeah. And the Marvel IP is over. Well, and people are marveled out. It's Marvel, so I, I just feel like that's that's not an actual. We could never. It would never happen. But I wish it did because everything you're saying sounds really. There's cool. another one that would never happen. But I think X Men though isn't it partially owned by Sony as well? You know more than I do. I know that Spider Man's owned by Sony. Yeah. I can't remember because X Men is to, to me it's so different. Like it is Marvel, obviously, but it's so different from the the Avengers right. universe and Thanos and even like the TVA, like yeah. Loki's universe. But um, anyways, all right, what number are we at? Is this was that your number seven? That was my number seven. All right, my number seven is Oppenheimer versus 007. So, <laughs> which is cool. Because so first off, I have I've already talked about this before, but I have an awesome Oppenheimer deck. It's it's cool. Where you are you are trying to build a bomb, and like you're trying to get to the end of your deck, and when you get to the end of your deck, that's the, the nuke goes that's off. That's the nuke. So, and you win. <laughs> and, and so you're trying to you're trying to get to the end of your deck as quick as you can, mm -hmm. um, and double seven would be like 
I mean, like, thematically, I don't know what he could do, but in that set, he could be, like, defusing the bomb or whatever, just doing different kind of stuff, doing some weird stuff. Um, but, again, I, I did a lot of, like, if it's an actual set, it needs to sound like a real set, so I did, like, a lot of alliteration in my yeah. in my two fighter sets. Um, sure. All yeah, right? You're right. Yours. And it would be uh, it would be the Daniel Craig version, of course. Yeah. Uh, all right, number six for me is uh, my first Unmatched Adventures suggestion, okay. and that's Star Wars. Great. Um, yep. Yeah, I, there's so much you could do. The Rancor. Mm. Oh, so much. The Sarlacc. So the, much. There's, a, there's so many things you could do. You, you could even yeah. do Darth Vader, actually, as a villain. Although, uh, people would probably want to play as Darth Vader. Mm hmm so that's the but Star Wars like say no more there are so would you just do then the good guys versus the monsters that's the that's <clears throat> the thing too is you could do like uh, like oh you do the you do the dune idea okay so you do you do the good guys versus the monster and then you release a second set of the villains Darth Vader Darth Maul uh, Boba uh, Fett uh, Grievous and Boba Fett probably yeah heck yeah um yeah, I think, and I think, like, there's just unlimited possibilities with stuff like Star Wars. Right. There's so much in that universe that you could... So many. Use. You could even do, like, the AT-AT, an AT-AT walker. The hero oh, at, -AT? Yeah, yeah. I was like, what's an AT-AT? Whatever, that's why I, was, I always called it an AT-AT. I know it's AT-AT, but whatever. AT-ST, at, -AT, -AT. Or an AT, -ST, AT -AT. Yeah, that'd be one, cool. Where that's, that's like, the cool. big thing in the middle. Dude, that would, Oh, cool. if you could get a T-Rex-sized... And it's ranged... <laughs> AT-AT -AT or ATST? That would be so cool. A ranged villain would be absolutely diabolical. Well, I guess it would. It could only move. It would be a move it one. Move, yeah, move one, but range like three, right? So it'd be like basically right, move four. Yeah, that'd be awesome. That'd, that'd be, be cool. awesome. Um, all right, my number six, Gladiator versus the Godfather. Love it. That's great. That's awesome. Right? Yeah. So much fun. Uh, so and, Russell Crowe. Gladiator, of course, yes. Yeah, Glad yeah that gladiator, like and then that. it would be uh, the Godfather. So Maximus, and and then Godfather's like using his henchmen, like the the mafia dudes, like to do stuff, and Maximus, yeah, sure, awesome. Godfather would be really cool. Really, you could lot lot you could do with it. The I card art, the, the tiles would be well. so good. Um, all right, what's your number five? Five. Number five is the other one that would probably never happen, and that is DC. Um. So mm -hmm. there's obviously Batman versus Superman, which would be really cool. Right. And then you could do Joker. You could do. There's so many people in DC that are super Green Arrow. Well, Green Arrow is basically Robin Hood. Probably couldn't do Green Arrow. Link is basically Robin Hood. N no, Link is. I don't know anything about Link. Go on. You don't. You don't. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> uh, but you could do Bane and Joker versus Batman and Superman. You know, like. Mm. Uh, or, or there's like with DC Universe too. That's the other thing. But I would never play Superman, out of the principle. Out of principle, <laughs> he's too strong. Batman is, is too strong. No, Superman is too strong. You're right. T Superman is very strong. But Golden <laughs> Bat is essentially Superman. So uh, that's that's the thing. It's, it's like it's Golden Bat exists. If S Superman fought anything else, he <laughs> loses <laughs> or wins. I mean, unless of course they have Kryptonite. Which he'll find a way. He'll be all right. Well, I think he'll the other thing is too. You could do Lex Luthor and like. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think too. The other thing with Superman, you could have it where you have a Kryptonite card or like two Kryptonite cards, and you give them to your opponent. You give them to your opponent. Is that what you're gonna say? Yeah. Oh, is there... okay. That's cool. Oh, That's yeah. what I was gonna say. So, or there's something you could do. Yeah, yeah interesting. Yeah. But, um... Cool. All right. Uh, what's that number? Or Superman's super powerful. Real quick idea. Superman is insanely powerful. Right. But he has a sidekick, Lois. And if Lois dies, Superman loses. <clears throat> so yeah, that's cool. Superman's super strong and has like no health dial or something. Right. We had uh, by the way, we I created that deck. Well, I created that deck in my mind. I don't know if I actually created it. Uh -oh. With Greg's. It was three men and a baby. <laughs> versus Superman. No, it was three men and a baby. Oh, and if the baby dies, if the baby died, you lose. But the three, and so like the baby, like it doesn't like it just moves one. Yeah, and it has no cards, and you'd like protect this baby. It's so cool. yeah, it'd be really, it'd be really interesting to like figure out. Lois would have to have like in like a full health dial, right? Um, and like no cards, you know. So she just have to like take damage. 
and but Superman would have no health dial and then just have to like fight the protector. No health dial. And if you kill Lois, you just win. That'd be interesting. So Buffy. Just play Buffy. Yeah, he just moved this. <laughs> Well, I feel like Superman should be able to... There should be a lot of cards where he can pick up and move Lois. Like, because he can fly. So yeah, but where, where are you going to move her to? Buffy just walks through you. But yeah, okay. We, we can talk about that later. Anyway. That's a cool idea. I like it. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> all right, so my you number five that. is Star Wars. Yeah. Uh, and it is Luke versus Han. This is not a... I didn't do the uh, thing I just suggested, which I like that idea. But uh, I have Luke versus Han and Chewie versus Leia versus Darth Vader. That's the one set. And then I have Yoda versus Obi-Wan versus Boba Fett versus Darth Maul. Mm -hmm. So, fun two, four, two, four, whatever, four fighters uh, each. But with Star Wars, there's Star Wars. Things It'd be great. Yeah. Now, I was thinking about it. There's so many... You would get, like, the whole, oh, force and lightsaber. You know? So you would have... Like, there's not that... Like, once you start getting to, like, the Jedi, there's not it's that not much... It's not as much unique. Right. And so... Yeah. I think that you would have to do... Some key representatives from each of them. You're right. Yeah. Um, so that that's the thing is with Star Wars is there's a lot of characters you can pick, but a lot of the characters are similar mm -hmm. in terms of their ability. That's why it's nice to have, like, yeah. Luke and Han, because they are very different. Yeah. And then uh, you could have the... the you know, Darth Vader, very evil. Mm -hmm. he, I'm sure his, his hands, like his, the force would be different with him, like force choke and stuff. That's probably his ability. Sure. And then, uh, and then you like, Luke would have some, you know, whatever. Maybe, maybe his sidekick is Obi-Wan Kenobi, that kind of stuff. And you can, you could tie in the different things or it could be uh, the other two. All right. Uh, that's my number five. What's your number four? <clears throat> number four. You're going to love this one. Okay. I'm excited. I'm a genius. Tarantino versus Nolan. Ooh. So it's not them versus... Each, it's not them versus each the other. The modern Shakespeare. Right. <laughs> so it's Black Mamba. So I'm not going to say her oh, name. Oh, I see what you're doing. If you haven't, seen, Kill, if you haven't oh. seen Kill Bill, I'm not going to say Black Mamba's name. Okay. Uh, and then Lucy Liu and the Crazy Idiot. I don't remember her name. I can't remember right. what her name is in Kill Bill. Right, right. Um, and then Aldo Rain. Aldo Rain. The Apache. Aldo, Aldo the Rain. Apache. Okay. From uh, Inglorious. Yep. Um, and then Cobb from cool. Inception. And I, I was trying to think of Dude, another okay. another uh, um, like <clears throat> no, good Nolan character, but there's no, those are great. That's, that's, like that's really good. good. And you can get a lot Tarantino. of really cool, really cool uh, mechanics with that. Mm -hmm. Really cool abilities. Yeah, it was initially going to be Tarantino, oh, just a Tarantino theme set. Okay, because his movies are more actiony. I think it's a good. It's good to not do that because, like, his are all just guns, punching, yep, stabbing. And it's like okay, well, but yeah, cops too. from Inception, by the way, if you didn't know. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, and we could probably nix one of those. I would nix Lucy. Yeah. And then, and then I would probably go with um, just like the crazy. Idiot. Go with um, Memento. Bruce Lee from. Uh, well, because well, if you're nixing, if we're nixing Tarantino, we're gonna add it to Tarantino. I guess Bruce Lee is in uh, no, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. No, 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 no. no I'm, I'm going with. Um, so I said Bruce Lee. I meant uh, Bruce Willis. I'm sorry. Oh, Bruce oh. Willis from um, uh, Pulp Fiction. Yeah, you could do the the fighter, right? Because um, because he's, he's got all that. There's a lot that goes on with him, like story wise. Story, right? Um, <clears throat> but he's also just punchy, punchy. But he's not stabby stabby, and you already have a stabby stabby. You never actually see him. I see you do. No, you do. He just punched some people. He fights him. He does a lot of stuff. Yeah. Uh, okay, number four, Alien vs Predator. Easy layup. I initially had that in my list, and then I was like, he's gonna put that. Yeah, I'm definitely playing that. Uh, that would be awesome. Yeah, uh, I really, really, really want to see Alien. Me too. Okay. I don't care about Predator. But it just made too much sense, so I had to put it. Yeah. I want Alien. I would buy the Xenomorph set. If you just put a solo fighter. Solo fighter Xenomorph? The Xenomorph. I will pay $100. <laughs> Tomorrow. Okay? I'd pay a lot. It has, pay to, <laughs> it has to be good, though. I'll play yours. That's fair. Yeah. All right. Um, all right what's your number three? <laughs> number three. Oh, this is tough. This is getting down to it. Um, I'm going to do a little audible here. Ooh. I'm going to swap my number two and three. Okay. This is going to be bad. My number three is Biblical Heroes. 
So um, I've been working on right. yeah. a biblical hero set, um, and it, we've we've made some progress on it. You've been kind of helping co-develop it a little bit. What's the it. um? You are you gonna say the names or no? Uh, it'll be a four fighter set, and I I haven't finished the other two yet. I've got ideas for who they are, but the two that I have so far are David. So King David and his mighty men, yeah, and then Samson. Um, so I feel like it'd be really cool. It'd be easy yeah, it'd be for awesome. for Resto to do because no, yeah, MP. yeah, public domain. And uh, yeah, I, I do feel I obviously it's from the Bible, but I the Bible is obvious is it's, it's a historical commonly, narrative. Yeah, it's a commonly read around the world, and even if it's not, you know, even well, if you're and, not a Christian, so, well, you still know the story. And, and you're going Old Testament, which means no one's going to deny the historical there right you go what's the uh yeah and you could do like <clears throat> you know but if we're talking about it just from like a lore like, yeah in battle like warriors and warriors right you could do gideon you could do gideon I, I, I probably won't do gideon maybe just a two fighter set that's cool david versus samson would be fun because it's like a hypothetical yeah. who would win like yeah. david killed lots of people but samson killed a lot of people right um that'd be cool but I do want to do some other some other fighters as well. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so I think that'd be really cool. That'd be a lot of fun. And it'd be easy for the rest of the deal. One, two, three. Uh, third is, this is tough. I think I'm going to put it as, as my number three. But it could, the top three easily. Yeah, same. Easily move same. around. I'll glad, like. This, my number if, one, if, I, I won't move. If any of these came out, I'm absolutely ecstatic. Mm-hmm. Number three is TMNT, so Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, yeah. Number three, and UMA. So it would be Raphael as a solo fighter, Leonardo with his sidekick Splinter, Donatello with his sidekick Casey Jones, Michelangelo with his sidekick April versus the Super Shredder. And then I just went with Krang as the second one, but it could, if it was just Super Shredder, that'd be off, that'd be fine anyways. But um, that would be a super fun set. And have you seen the new movie? I've not seen. I want to watch it. With the you. new, the new like style animation one. It does look cool. It looks interesting. It looks interesting. Um, I've not seen even that. I haven't seen the one before that. The the TMNT cartoon that came out before that. Yeah. I've that one. Seen I, I wasn't really interested TMNT. in that one, but I'm interested in the new one. It looks. They like cast actual high schoolers and stuff to get like that dynamic, and they record the audio in the same room to like get the chemistry. Yeah. Um. So it's pretty cool. But yeah, TMNT number three. Wait, That'd be awesome. What he got. All right, number. Two would be a UMA Unmatched Adventures in Lord of the Rings. Excellent choice. Yeah. <laughs> Could have been number That's one. That's so good. But number one, I feel like you're not going to have, which is why okay. it's, I was also near, near and dear to my heart. More, you are right. More, I do not have your number one. Lord of the Rings is very much very near and dear to my heart, which is why I could easily go number one. But Gandalf, Aragorn, Legolas, Gimli, the Balrog, Frodo, Bilbo. Sam, I, I, you could just you could just bo- name 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 Gollum, like oh Gollum Sauron. You're so right. Like add that to my list. <laughs> the Black Riders, dude. Oh my gosh, oh, yeah. you could do so much yeah. with a UMA set. You could do four UMA sets. It is. With it just would be of the bigger races. and more varied and better than Star Wars. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Because every character would be unique in their fighting, in their Ability. abilities, because they're all different kinds of people. That's interesting. And there's a lot of monsters. There's a lot of monsters. A lot of creatures. There's a oh, it's so good. All right, should yeah. My number two, do Lord of the Rings. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Yeah. All right, Lord of the Rings number two, UMA. So it's the Hobbits. First off, I want to do more sets, but I did mine one set. So okay. it's the Hobbits, all four together, the first four hero team. Thanks. They all have like, what, six health? That's insane. See, uh, they, because, guess what? They're all hobbits. So right. they all have five health, probably. Five health hobbits. With healing, probably. Uh, move to... They all have unique abilities. And they all have different things. They have different cards. It'd be really interesting, right? So five five hobbits, or four hobbits. Mary and Sam stick together. Frodo, oh, or Plus, Mary and Pippin stick together. They kind of go off in twos. Plus, Legolas Gimli Doi. is obviously the, the duo there. That's so many Plus things. Aragorn. Yep. Solo fighter, Gandalf, solo fighter, versus Smog, Balrog, GG. Let's go. So good. So good. Okay. Uh, what's your number one? What's, uh, you know what? I'll give my number one since yours is new. 
I guarantee you, mine's not. This, I well, actually, it'd be really interesting, but I, I don't think he will. I don't think he'll have it. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I, I know I don't have it because my number one is Batman. Oh, okay. Yeah. Batman. So my number one is Batman. Uh, I want Batman in Unmatched. Me too. Me too. Me too. Greg says more it than would anything. would be more than anything. Incredible. Uh, and you could do so many things with Batman. Yep. You could have a set of four fighters that are all Batman, and they would all be different. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you could have like the detective. You could have the like the Batman. You could have uh, future Batman. You could have no no neck movement Batman. And where he's like, <laughs> you could have uh, his special abilities. And you could have the, <laughs> the butt cheeks Batman. There's so many Batmans you could do. Um, oh, you could do yeah, the old the old uh, Adam West <laughs> Batman. That would be that would be so good. Um, but so my set would be Batman versus Poison Ivy and Bane. They're the two Ooh, okay. versus Joker versus Penguin. Um, and nice. then my and my second set would be Robin versus Catwoman versus the Riddler versus Two Face. Love it. But I'm, I'm still leaving out, you know, um, Scarecrow. I'm leaving out Mr. Freeze. Nightwing. So there's, so there's, there's a lot. So many. Uh, I'm leaving out Commissioner Gordon. He might be a sidekick. Maybe he's like Robin Hood. The, the whole Batman universe. Is so oh, it's so good. So that's my number one. What's your number one? All right. My number one is Doom versus Halo. Doom versus Halo. Master Chief getting in the so game. It Dude. would be... Master Chief would be awesome. Master Chief, and, and you could do. I mean, really, it's it would be a probably a three fighter set, but probably more like a two fighter set. It would be the Doom Slayer, or the Doom Marine, whatever you want to call him. Uh, this is Doom. This is the you're just talking about the, the game, the first person shooter where you just run it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I played that when I was like seven. Play the new okay. Play the new one. Okay. Doom 2016. It was very violent for a seven. Year old. It's very <laughs> violent. It is gratuitously violent. But it's awesome. I was like, I was probably like it's, twelve. And you have to play with headphones. Okay. Because the music is. Ugh, it's, am, it's amazing. <laughs> you're you're murdering demons on Mars. Nothing just better. Just ripping them apart and sh <laughs> blasting them, and, and and then in the meantime, it's just heavy metal in the background. Okay. Just like, you just you okay. want to be head banging while you're playing the game. Okay. Super good, and right. then Master Chief obviously. I can't get behind the Doom, Doom, but I can get behind Master Chief a thousand percent. Play Doom, and you'll get behind it. Okay. The Doom Slayer is awesome. I don't like heavy metal, but you're a drummer. <laughs> I'm a jazz drummer. <laughs> I'm not really. I'm not. Um, yeah, I mean, not, listen, I'm to the, the, listen to the Doom soundtrack. <laughs> it's it's not. There's no lyrics. It's not about there's no lyrics at all. It's yeah. more just like epic. Just like you could play. Okay. Uh, I do like the soundtrack of um, Mad Max Fury Road. Is that that kind of feeling? But more like, like, there's a lot of edge more... the whole time. You're like, oh, let's go. Yeah, Doom is a little bit more technical, probably, okay. and uh, yeah, like it's it's a really good soundtrack. But also, just in general, the Doom Slayer is he's just an absolute monster. Is it a two fighter set? It'd be it would be the Doom Marine versus Master Chief, which is cool. Because I believe now Doom is a uh, Bethesda. Uh, Marathon is what I'm thinking of. Uh, Marathon and uh, Halo are both made by Bungie, but I was I was confusing Marathon and, and mm. Doom. But, would Master Chief have like Cortana as his, his sidekick, or would it be? Um, would it I, just be like he'd probably just be a solo, a solo fighter? Yeah, it'd be interesting to do. But how you do a non-physical entity as your sidekick? That's the. That's cool. That's the thing. Um, How do we do it? <laughs> I and then the other the other person I considered was the Arbiter from mm. Halo Three. Yeah, you could just have one. Yeah, one Arbiter in there, one alien guy. Yeah, like a, you could do that. But I also feel like just who would win if you put like we want to know who would win the Doom Marine or mm. okay. Master Chief. Cool. They're very they're very similar. Yeah, I like it. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I, I love I love the. I would add Halo Master Chief onto my. As like a solo fighter, you know, solo set kind of thing. Um, that would be actually cool. Actually, oh, you know what? No, I'm just adding him to my to my. It'd be Matrix versus Mad Max versus Master Chief. Done, dude. Little three M set. Nice. Um, cool, uh, guys. <clears throat> there you have it. There's our top ten dream sets. What are your dream sets? If you could get one set, my toaster said his dream set is uh, slings and arrows. <laughs> <laughs> is it really? That's what he said. That's awesome. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, it so really it's good. fun because it's going to be real, it's tangible. But if you could get a set, if you could wish a set into creation, because Restoration Games is going to read the comments, okay? Mm -hmm. They will read the comments, and they will they will read your answer, and then they will make it. They told me that. <laughs> they did not tell me that. I'm not, we're not legally obligated. Uh, they will make it. <laughs> they will make it. It's no, a mystery. Okay. Oh, um, but yeah, so what's, what set do you want to see? Who are some characters you want to see? Of ours that we said... Which one do you want to see? And who had the best top 10? Who had the best 10? That, like, that's the one I want to play. Even though, of course, mine had like, actually had like 15. <laughs> so yeah. Um, I, that, I mean, we snuck some, we did some sneaky we things. We did some sneaky things. That was combining. Super fun. Fighter, but, yeah. uh, we're going to wrap this stream up. We will see you guys in 14 minutes for our phone booth. Uh, we're going to finish that out potentially or just get through the next round. We'll, we'll figure that out. Um, probably at least four games, right? At least four games. Um... Yeah, thank you guys for watching. And as always, this is your captain signing off. And that's our town. <laughs>